holidays are here and we've been testing out all these different products on our Rivian and our Tesla. And we wanted to share with you some of the best ones that we've found in case you or someone you know might want one for their holiday season. Let's go. Now inside of the car here, this is our Rivian, but the Tesla this would also apply to, actually almost most of the new EVs this would apply to, they have their own built-in infotainment systems, but they lack so many things. They really don't have hardly any apps whatsoever. You know, you can play music, you can do navigation, and that's about it. Well, here, what I've been able to do is add this little screen right here, and this screen supports Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So, if you have other apps that you want to use which are not supported, like YouTube Music or WhatsApp or Telegram or any of the hundreds of apps that are supported, on Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. You pop this little guy in, plug it into the cigarette lighter bit, and it works. Now, I will say if you buy this, I'll put a link to all these things down below. If you buy this, it's not perfect. So sometimes you have to kind of reconnect and all that. But for me, when I'm taking my kids to school in the morning, depending on which way I go, it can be a 20 to 30 minute difference because of traffic. So I have to use something that's more advanced than the built-in navigation. On a recent road trip I went on, we used this uh, exclusively for our navigation because the built-in navigation to the Rivian still has a long ways to go. But overall, just being able to use all of the apps and send messages via voice and receive them not just an SMS, really big win and something that I've really come to like. As, as kind of clunky as it may look, right? It kind of ruins that minimalist aesthetic, but functionality-wise, big win. Now, another thing I added in my Rivian here is this dash cam. This is the Viofo 129A Plus Duo. It runs on Amazon for just under 200 bucks. So I'll put a link to that in the description as well. But this guy is actually really cool. It plugs in and I just kind of ran the wire up and all the way over. You probably can't see it. Hopefully you can't see it. And then it kind of plugs in down below. There's a little 12 volt cigarette lighter outlet, which is also how this guy is plugged in right here. So you can kind of run both of them off of that. If you have a Tesla, they already have a built-in dash cam, so you do not need this. Uh, but most of the other EVs out there, most of the other cars out there don't. This guy is one that I got after watching Linus Tech Tips video on the quality of it, because it is essentially the same kind of quality that you'd get out of something that is, you know, triple the price, and it's just as good. So really cool, highly recommend this. In fact, I just used it the other day because I was witness to a car crash, and I was able to get the footage and save it off and give it to the police, so that way, you know, they have a better account what happened. So I highly recommend the, the front and the back. You can see that here this one actually comes with two units i haven't went through the process of installing that yet which is kind of lazy i guess but you know once you run the wire up and all that it should be pretty easy to point it out back so this is just something for me was a stopgap. i think rivian will or they've been even announced that they're going to have this built in soon but it's not yet and already i've been thankful i've had it so highly recommend you know kind of no matter what car you have uh, if you need a dash cam Okay, so here in the back seat, this is where my oldest son, Jack, who's seven sits. He has this guy here, which is a car seat organizer. You have all kinds of pockets here. There's cup holders. There's a big pocket here for snacks and, you know, other little uh, stuff to play with on road trips. And then up here, we actually, you can put his tablet. This straps around the front. And this is just something he absolutely loves. It also has a dual effect of protecting this seat from being just destroyed by them putting their feet up. So if you have a kid that's, you know, a little bit older, not like a toddler or a baby, uh, this is really good. It's a place for them to put all their little things. They, you know, can have their own space and it also kind of protects the seat. Now, if you do have a younger one though, that's where the similar product to this over here is really ideal. So on this side, you see this is our full-size car seat here for our three-year-old, and we have just more of a kick mat. So he doesn't need the organizer or any of that kind of stuff. He just literally has this to put his feet up, you know, relaxing or whatever. And then if he does get, you know, grumpy and start to kick, it's protecting the seat. So the seat under it is kind of perfectly intact. Whereas in our other cars, uh, we didn't have these, and they got quite destroyed by the kids. They just kind of snap down underneath there, and it's really easy to install. So you have the car organizer and the kick mat, both of these products available on our store. And so along with that and the car organizer, we also have a little trash can here. Now this one's pretty cool. It has pockets. You can actually use it as kind of like a little day bag or, you know, just carry some stuff. And then inside this trash can has a liner that you pull out and then you go empty it. So it is waterproof and you don't have to ever refill it. So you're not creating a bunch of plastic waste or anything with it. And you, again, just pop it down, have it sit right there in between the kids and you can have a place to put your trash and empty it without creating too much waste. 
Now, one thing that I can't recommend enough is paint protection film. So if you have a nicer vehicle, you're gonna want to protect it. And one of the best ways to do that is to put on PPF or a clear bra, you might see it called. Now in San Diego or in Southern California, I highly recommend Elite Finish. They're a company that I've been working with for years on all my vehicles. Jenny's Model Y, you may remember, got completely wrapped in paint protection film and that has already panned out because she hit a couple rocks or rock chips or something and we're just able to peel that off and the car itself, the paint is actually fine. Here you might be able to tell that they've done quite a bit on the actual paint to make it shine and really come out, as well as we wrap the entire front end of the vehicle. Now Rivian can do this, in fact out of the factory there are a couple spots that they do, but what Elite Finish did was they actually kind of polished this and they took out any contamination and stuff, really made this thing shine, as well as they fixed a couple spots. So there were already scratches from the factory when it came out there. I can't recommend them enough. I've been working with them for years. I highly recommend it. And if you don't uh, live in Southern California, you can call them or check out uh, S-Tech, I think is the company they use for the paint protection film. It also has ceramic coating built in it. So you kind of have two for one there. And with that, what it enables you to do is wash it with a simple spray bottle and rag. This is the wash mist kit, which I've been using for years as well. So let me get that now. Okay, so this is the Elite Finish Wash Mist Kit. It comes with a couple rags and a thing of concentrate, which is what you use to create a bottle of the actual wash mist. So the idea is it's like one ounce of this to 15 ounces or so of water, making it essentially waterless because one bottle should get you through about two washes of a vehicle. The Rivian's quite a bit bigger, so uh, you know maybe may closer to two thirds for one wash. But this will last you almost a year and you're using hardly any water, obviously good for the planet. And it's also easy. You basically just spray it on, you get the rag. There's a very specific way to hold the rag and all those things you can check out videos on. You spray it on like that and then you just wipe it off and it pulls all the dirt and everything else off with it. So that right there, like you can see how easy that, that's enabled because I have the paint protection film and ceramic coating. So that combined with this equals a really beautiful car that's protected and just looks great all year round. And you can see on the back right here, there's a little tiny spot. See that scratch? This is where we did not have paint protection film. So that is kind of the story, right? We just did it in the front in over kind of the, the tailgate here. So that way as you're moving things up, it won't scratch it up. But here's an example. Had we had paint protection film here, this little scratch wouldn't have actually damaged the paint. It would have just peeled or kind of cut the paint protection film. And we can kind of, it's self healing, so it should just go away. But also if we wanted to, we could kind of redo this whole panel and fix that. So paint protection film, absolutely recommend, especially if you care about your vehicle and especially a vehicle like the Rivian where you take it off road and you do other things outdoors, you're gonna get scratches and things like that on it. So really good idea to get that. And again, if you're in San Diego or Southern California, check out Elite Finish. And another thing we did at Elite was actually we tinted the front and back windows to match the factory tint. But we also have this here, which is a really cool shade. It's like this nylon shade that goes over the window. This is just added protection for heat. So if you're on a road trip or something, you know, your kids are in the back, the sun's just blasting on them for hours. You can literally just run this guy over. It takes about two seconds once you get it lined up properly. And then you have this extra shade kind of built in right there. It's really tight, so that way it's not flapping in the wind, making noise or anything. And this guy is super cheap. We sell them on our site. Um, I think it's about 20 bucks for two of them. So that way, if you want to put them on both sides, they have other things you can kind of tighten it and strap it down, but I find it's easiest just to wrap it over like that and be on your merry way. So really cool way to add some additional shade, even if you have tint already, just providing more comfort inside for your passengers. Now, if you're on a road trip, you're gonna want some charging adapters. So first off, most EVs come with a charger. This is what you plug into a wall, like a dryer outlet, essentially. You can also plug it into a regular, uh, regular 120 outlet and then charge your vehicle. So if you're on a road trip, you're gonna want some adapters in case you come across plugs that aren't the standard NEMA 1450. This guy here is a 30 amp version. If you've seen my video where I used a battery to save my Tesla after running out of juice, this is what I used. This is from Park World. We sell these on our site. And this is a specific EV one. So if you get a regular kind of RV 
V adapter for it, that's not going to work because of how the actual pins here are wired inside of here. So you have to get the EV one in order for it to work. So I've got that one there. I recommend this one, um, which I think is a NEMA 1430. And then this is your typical RV kind of outlet. Same thing from Park World. It has to be this one. Otherwise, it won't work for an EV because of how these pins are connected. These are both very, very useful. As well as if you're in a non-Tesla, this is a Tesla to J1772 adapter. So this is what most every EV in the US accepts, except for Tesla. And this is the Tesla port. So if you have a Tesla destination charger at a hotel or restaurant, wherever you might be on the road, you can go there. And most cases, it doesn't work 100%, but most times you can plug this guy in and then this guy plugs right into, in my case, a Rivian or you know EV6, Mustang Mach-E, whatever you have. And then that way, not only can you use the Tesla chargers, but like the network that you can extend to is just massive now. So charging adapters, highly recommended. Those are three of our favorites. Okay, now the Rivian has a unique problem. So this accessory really only applies to that or if you have another vehicle, maybe a car or something that has a tow hitch. And that is that the Rivian has no bumper. So there's nowhere to step if you need to get into the bed without taking the tailgate down. And even then the tailgate's super high. So most trucks have a bumper here, most vehicles, I suppose, that you can step on. It's kind of a, a standard feature. Rivian doesn't have that. So I had to add this little guy here. I got this on Amazon. I'll link to it in the description down below. It has a little pin and it just comes out like that. So it's really simple. Nothing really magic about it, but it just plugs in here into the actual receptacle. You pop this little guy through and you put the pin in and Bob's your uncle. So this enables you to actually get into the back of the vehicle, uh, whereas otherwise there's really not a way to do that. You could do the gear tunnel, but sometimes you're next to something where you can't pop the gear tunnel down. So uh, every person I know that has a Rivian said they saw this and they immediately bought it. So if you are gonna get one, you know someone that has one or anything like that, highly recommend it. It's pretty cheap, it's on Amazon. I'll link to it in the description below. Okay, so you know the Rivian has all kinds of cool gadgets that it comes with, right? The flashlight, the speaker, all that kind of stuff. The one thing it doesn't have that was a surprise to me um, because I didn't really think this would be that useful is a built-in vacuum. So this little guy is something that I have found sort of to be indispensable, especially with kids who make a mess everywhere they go, right? They're like walking mess generators. So inside of the actual center console, I have a vacuum. Pop that guy open. It charges via USB-C, so it's actually sitting in there charging the entire time. And this is a little vacuum here. It's about the size of, I don't know, a big flashlight. You press the button there, they can suck up through here. You kind of hear it, right? I'll... It has two speeds, as you can tell. And then it has a couple of attachments. So one is actually to blow things out. So these little cracks and crevices, you put this guy in the bottom and then you do it and it blows the air out of here and you can kind of blow all the dust and dirt out do that first before vacuuming. Then it has this other little extension on it. And this other little extension on it goes in like so. And then you can kind of get really fine grain with all that stuff, or you can pop this out to kind of brush it. And this is just so nice because you don't really need a full size vacuum to lug the thing out here. Or even if you have a Dyson cordless or something, it's pretty big, right? So this little guy just sits with us. It's in the center console, plugged in via USB-C, always charging, always ready to go. If I ever have a mess I need to clean up right away, pop that guy out and I'm done. It's honestly incredible. Then to actually clean it, um, you, can, you can kind of pop this down and just dump that stuff out real easy. Or this guy comes off and then you can pull out the filter there. So it has a little filter, has a little compartment. You know, you're not gonna clean up a giant mess or anything like that with it, but the fact that it's just always with you and charging, I love this thing. I, I can't really uh, speak more highly of it than anything else. It's incredible. And so big fan of this, av available on our site, link in the description below. But if you, I mean, really anyone that has a vehicle, but especially one like this that has charging ports all over the place, something like this, such a cool thing just to have handy in case you need it. So that's it for this one, guys. I hope you have a happy holidays. Thank you again for all the support over the years, and I'll see you in 2023.